that's beautiful. And a good ice cream day to you, sir. Yes! It's a good day for ice cream! We're back with some more mistakes hidden in Spongebob Season 10. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know who your favorite Spongebob character is. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shoutout giveaway. Our first mistake can be found in the Season 10 episode, Patrick's Coupon. In this episode, Patrick finds out that his free ice cream coupon has expired. Poor Patrick. So he does what any ice cream lover would do and takes a trip over to the Ice Cream King in hopes of getting a free ice cream anyways. Now at the very beginning of the episode, when Patrick first attempts to use his expired coupon, he's seen at an ice cream store. And if you look at some of the fish, they seem to be sitting on air as their chairs are just completely invisible. They're also like elevated in the air, so like I have no idea how they would be sitting there. But yeah, this was definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. It's beautiful. And a good ice cream day to you, sir. Yes! It's a good day for ice cream! And what's your pleasure? Oh, I want your bestest ice cream for my bestest buddy, SpongeBob! When Spongebob mistakes an escaped convict for his new driving teacher in Season 10's The Getaway, Mrs. Puff jumps into action and teams up with fellow Bikini Bottom resident, Dorsal Dan, to chase Spongebob down and save the day. To our surprise though, this results in the two catching some feelings for one another, with Dorsal Dan complimenting Mrs. Puff several times. It's very, very cute, and is overall a great episode. But let's not get distracted by the chemistry between these two as if you pay close attention to Dorsal Dan when he says romance always has the right of way, his facial hair vanishes for a couple of seconds, before reappearing moments later. Help! Help! I've been robbed! I've shopped in that place before, and I've been robbed too! <laughs> yeah. What now, beautiful? I wouldn't mind seeing you navigate a four-way stop. Romance always has the right of way. Oh my! During the opening of the episode Squirrel Record, SpongeBob notices a very gross smell coming out of the kitchen's trash can. So he heads to the back to throw the trash away. As you can see, as SpongeBob takes out the trash, he's wearing a gas mask. This is important. While disposing of the trash, SpongeBob is eventually confronted by a mysterious book and he throws his mask to the ground and takes the book. But in the next shot, you can see that SpongeBob's gas mask isn't anywhere to be seen. Normally, we wouldn't cover a continuity mistake like this one, as mistakes like this happen all the time in SpongeBob, but this one was fairly noticeable. Here's a clip. What's this? Someone threw away a book. You shouldn't throw away books. <laughs> the Season 10 episode, Feral Friends, has an interesting plot. A luminous green moon comes out of a volcano and turns every creature in Bikini Bottom into biologically accurate looking fish. Even Spongebob and Patrick. However, Spongebob is just a kitchen sponge. This is ironic, considering Spongebob was based on a sea sponge, but I'm not gonna get into that. What I will get into though, is this mistake revolving around Sandy's tail. Take a look at this shot of Realistic Sandy. Do you notice anything strange? Well, Realistic Sandy has two tails, one on her suit and the one attached to Realistic Sandy. Weird. Every day. Jinx, a party, a party. 